ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് വ്യൂവേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് യു ആർ വെൽക്കം ടു ഏഞ്ചൽ ഹെൽത്ത് അക്കാഡമി കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ഹെൽത്ത് നഴ്സിംഗ് നെമോണിക്സ് ദ ടോപ്പിക് ഈസ് നാഷണൽ ഹെൽത്ത് പോളിസി ടു തൗസൻഡ് ടു എൻ എച്ച് പി ടു തൗസൻഡ് ടു ടാർജറ്റ്സ് നെമോണിക് ആൻഡ് ക്ലോസ് ഫോർ ഈസി അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ദർ ആർ ഫോർട്ടീൻ ടാർജറ്റ്സ് ബോത്ത് നാഷണൽ ഹെൽത്ത് പോളിസി ടു തൗസൻഡ് ടു ആൻഡ് നാഷണൽ പോപ്പുലേഷൻ പോളിസി ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഹാവ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ ടാർജറ്റ്സ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്ലോ ഈസ് ദ ടാർജറ്റ്സ് ഹാവ് ടു ബി അച്ചീവ്ഡ് ഇൻ ഫോർ ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ലൈക്ക് നാഷണൽ ഹെൽത്ത് പോളിസി ടു തൗസൻഡ് ടു വി ഹാവ് ഫോർ വേർഡ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫൈവ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് സെവൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ടെൻ ആൻഡ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് സെവൻറ്റീൻ സോ ഫോർ ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഇയേഴ്സ് സോ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫൈവ് ദർ ആർ ഫോർ a targets then 2007 only one target then 2017 also one target but 2010 has a eight targets regarding communicable diseases 2005 polio yos and leprosy 2007 hiv aids 2010 kala azar tb malaria vector and water borne diseases 2015 lymphatic filariasis the mnemonic i have been made for uh, 2005 to 2007 targets are polish like national health policy you can remember it is polish p o l i s h p o stands for polio l stands for leprosy i stands for integrated surveillance system s stands for state sectoral health spending h stands for hiv or aids so let me explain the targets of national health policy 2002 up to 2007 so 2005 there are four targets and 2007 only one target so 2005 first one is eradicate polio and yos second one is eliminate leprosy third one is establish an integrated surveillance system fourth target is increase state sectoral health spending from 5.5 percentage to 7 percentage of the budget that means during 2002 the, the state were spending only 5.5 percentage of the budget the total budget that has to be increased up to 7 percentage by 2005 by 2007 only one target has to be achieved that is achieve zero level of growth of hiv or aids the second mnemonic for 2010 to 2015 is increase share of central grant and government health expenditure for the utilization of public health service to eliminate kala azar mortality that is imr and mmr and blindness and further increase expenditure to eliminate filariasis so let me expand this with the targets of 2010 and 2015 the first target is increase the share of central government grant to constitute at least 25% of the total health spending that means the 25% of the total health spending of the state has to be contributed by as a share of the central government grants the next target is increase the government health expenditure from the current 0.09% to 2% percentage. the next target is increase the utilization of public health services by the public from 20% to 75% the next target is eliminate kala azar next target is reduce communicable disease related mortality by 50% on account of especially tb malaria and other vector and water borne diseases by 2010 then reduce imr infant mortality rate to 30 per 1000 livers and mmr maternal mortality rate to 100 per 1 lakh mothers the seventh target is reduce prevalence of blindness to 0.05 percentage the eighth target to be achieved by 2010 is further increase of state health expenditure from 7 to 8 percentage of the total budget then the 14th target that is 2015 only one target to be achieved that is eliminate lymphatic filariasis so these are the 14 targets of national health policy 2002 the next topic is present national health policy that is national health policy 2017 the important areas to be explained are one is major goals there are seven goals second one is highlights there are seven highlights and uh, last one is targets there are eight targets the clue is national health policy 2017 the last word is seven so major goals seven 
highlight 7 then regarding targets there are 8 targets that is 2017 means 1 plus 7 8 you can remember in that way the second clue is regarding major goals as i said there are 7 goals and 25 sub goals that means all goals 7 goals have 4 sub goals except 4th goal is having 2 sub goals and 7th goal is having 3 sub goals you have to remember in this sense so the mnemonic i have set for the major goals is quality assurance approach in primary health care by preventive and promotive focus through intersectoral digital interventions as regulating mechanism for making india for a healthy india the first goal is patient focus must be quality assurance based approach so patient health care will be based on quality assurance based approach the second goal is regarding primary health care that must be universal easily accessible and affordable to all the citizens of india the third goal is preventive and promotive focus with pluralistic choice that is choice of health services from indian system of medicine or ayush fourth goal is intersectoral convergence or coordination for holistic health care delivery fifth goal is digital interventions for nation's health digital interventions sixth goal is better regulatory mechanism and quality control the last goal is making india for a healthy india so let us discuss the sub goals the first major goal is quality assurance based approach there are four sub goals first sub goal is right of patient to access the information patient must have the right to get information regarding his health services second one is national health care standards organization for maintaining the standards of health services then separate empowered medical tribunal or medical policy then grading of establishments and standard treatment guidelines then setting standard treatment guidelines the second goal is regarding primary health care the sub goals are there are four sub goals comprehensive primary health care package the second sub goal is free drugs di free diagnosis and low cost pharmacy chains then health cards for accessing primary health care the fourth sub goal is free health care services to the victims of gender violence the third major goal is preventive and promotive focus the sub goals in relation to this goal is there are four sub goals the first one is creation of public health management cadre or public health personnel in all states then second one is tracking behavioral changes then education and counseling for the children then intervention for early childhood detection of issues so intervention for any early childhood issues the fourth sub goal is plethora of options to choose from ayush the public have an access to choose health services from ayush the fourth major goal is intersectoral convergence or coordination for the holistic health care delivery there are two sub goals first one is partnership participation in all non-health uh, sectors ministries communities and academic institutions the second sub goal is coordinated action of health related sectors for the holistic health care delivery the fifth goal is digital interventions there are four sub goals first sub goal is teleconsultation in the tertiary care institutions then establishment of national digital health authority national knowledge network then electronic health record to improve the health of the people in the nation sixth major goal is regulatory mechanism and quality control the sub goals there are four sub goals first one is post market surveillance program regulating the use of all devices in health services timely revision of national list of essential medicines then fourth sub goal is standard regulatory framework to maintaining the standards of public health services the seventh major goal is make in india for a healthy india there are three sub goals first one is production of active pharmaceutical 
ingredients from India itself. Then reducing the cost of health services by using indigenous medical technology and devices. The third sub goal is incentivizing the local manufacturing centers. That is supporting the local manufacturing organization by giving incentives and subsidies. Next is highlights of national health policy 2017. There are seven highlights. The mnemonic I have made is increase public health care expenditure for free comprehensive primary health care and daily tracking through reforming the existing regulatory systems, regulatory environment and development of MLHP program. Almost all the mnemonic in this video I have made from the same sentence or words from the particular content. So let us expand and discuss about the highlights of National Health Policy 2017. The first highlight is increase the public health care expenditure from the current 1.4 percentage of the GDP that is gross domestic product to 2.5 percentage. Out of this 2.5 percentage more than two thirds must be utilized for the primary health care services. The second highlight comprehensive primary health care stands for provide a large package of comprehensive primary health care through health and wellness centers. The third highlight that is the free mnemonic free stands for free diagnostic, free drugs, free emergency and free essential health care services to all population by all the public hospitals. Then the fourth highlight that is daily tracking stands for establish regular tracking of disability adjusted life years index to reduce the burden of disability adjusted life years. The fifth highlight is that is regulatory environment is improve and strengthen the regulatory environment in the nation to improve the standards of health care. The sixth highlight is the reforms in the existing regulatory systems and reforms the medical education and promote make in India. The seventh highlight is development of mid-level service providers that is MLHP mid-level health providers in the sub-center and other public health cadre and nurse practitioners to improve the quality of the services. The last session is Major Targets of National Health Policy 2017. The mnemonic clue is there are 8 targets. So you can see that National Health Policy 2017 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. And there are 4 specific periods to achieve the targets. One target in 2017 itself that is the 31st of December 2017. Then one target in 2019, one target in 2020 and five targets in 2025. The mnemonic I have made is two beds for thousand people with reduced immune system in life. Well, let us expand this. Two beds for thousand people stands for two bed per thousand people. Reduce Immune system, immune system, IM stands for IMR, M stands for MMR, U stands for under 5 mortality rate, NE stands for neonatal mortality, system stands for still birth rate, in life LI stands for life expectancy and FE stands for fertility that is total fertility rate. So let us explain about the national health policy 2017 major targets. There are 8 targets. The first target is availability of beds within the golden hour that is two beds per thousand population to be achieved in 2017 itself. Second target is reduce infant mortality rate that is 28 per thousand livers to be achieved in 2019. Third target is reduce maternal mortality rate that is 100 per 1 lakh women that is has to be achieved in 2020. The remaining 5 targets have to be achieved by 2025. First one is reduce mortality rate among the under 5 children that is 23 per thousand. Reduce neonatal mortality rate that is 16 per thousand. Reduce still birth rate by single digit. Then increase life expectancy that is from 67.5 to 70 years. 67.5 to 70 years by 2025. Reduce total fertility rate that is TFR that is 2.1. 
So these are the major eight targets of the National Health Policy 2017. So thanks for watching. If you are still not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. You will get the updated notification. If you like this video and feels it is worth, you please share to your friends. Stay tuned with the Angel Health Academy. See you. Bye bye and take care.